Look at my darling baby. Is there anybody more beautiful? What's wrong with me? It just didn't feel beautiful. No, it's kind of the It's very overwhelming. Who am I? I felt so alone. There's stuff about growing up that's universal. I was putting all of this pressure on myself. I was a mistake. Unlovable. Crazy. Gross. It's just a burden. I thought I was the only one who ever felt that way. There's so many things out in the world that are obstacles. But you're your first obstacle. What would it be like if we lived in a world where kids didn't learn to hate themselves first, but we just stayed with that love? I think the recording of all of the cast members together was like um, took about like a week or so and then for my personal episode around the same length of time but it felt a lot longer than that because of like all the connections that we made on set and all the connections that we have now are going to be for a lifetime so. I definitely think that social media impacts every aspect of how we grew up because I think that it's really different to navigate the digital world as well as the real world. So I definitely think that social media played a big part in our experiences growing up. I think that social media is such a curated and, and specific thing that very rarely, you know, even when you're doing Q&As like this, or, or you know, there, there's no way to really get to know anyone in a 30 second clip or a 10 second clip or a little video that tells you this tiny sliver of their life. It's, it, it's impossible. I don't think I would have survived if there was social media when I was a kid. <laughs> I certainly wouldn't be sitting here. Growing up was tumultuous, cringing, confusing, unpredictable. Growing up was, ugh. But following your joy will lead you to the community that celebrates you and loves you as you should be. Um, I think there's definitely more to tell. There's, you know, there's so many more stories. And as you were talking about with social media, it's about getting behind that, behind the veneer, behind the glitz and the glam and the filters, but being able to see people and be people being able to own who they really are without the extra accoutrements. I mean, each and every one of the young people in this show is special in their own right. What drew me to Amiri is that Amiri had gone through a similar life experience to me. He's dealt with loneliness. He's dealt with not knowing if he belongs and Unlike me, Amiri, as a young person, found all of these positive solutions to those problems, you know? And I just wanted, I know how much I needed that representation when I was a kid. It was, it didn't exist. And I just jumped at the opportunity to be able to put together a story with Amiri about Amiri, because I think young people need to see this. 